Well folks, it's been a while hasn't it? Indeed, with the channel rebrand other changes, glitch tutorials have gotten quite rare here on Gaming Reinvented. But now we've got a new one to cover and one which people will be very excited to hear about. That being Inventory Storage. Found by Simu Backer in Legend of Link, the trick lets you explore Hyrule with the inventory open, creating all sorts of bizarre scenarios in the process. It's an awesome discovery and arguably the biggest find since inventory slot transfer. So in this video, we're going to teach you how it all works. Are you ready folks? Let's do this. Before we do though, you'll need the following things set up. The upgraded Shiga sensor, a saver goddess statue, horn statue or bed nearby, at least one Hyrule Compendium entry, the camera rune, which should be the active rune too, plus access to Hyrule Castle. Once you've got that stuff, onto the basic setup. First, go to the bridge leading up to Hyrule Castle. Stand at the point just before it switches to Castle Map. Hold up your shield and press A and then minus immediately afterwards. Now, you should see the normal Hyrule Map. If you see the Castle Map or a glitch map, you've pressed the button too late. Regardless, if you see the normal map, go to the runes list or photos and switch to the map screen about the same time you press the B button, close the menu. Generally, the latter should happen during the fade out. Now, quickly hit Y. If done right, you hear a selection sound. Now, walk away from the castle so the map is reset and the cursor should appear on screen. If you now press up and right and click A, the compendium will open. But before we get into that, Here's the setup again, just at full speed. As you can see, the timing is very precise here. Either way, let's talk map storage now. In this state, the compendium is on screen at all times and changes as you move about. It's an interesting setup, and given it takes up like 90% of the screen, it's one that makes navigating Hyrule quite the challenge. But that's not what you're interested in, is it? No, you want the crazier effects and those can be done by reloading a save during this state. Open the menu with the compendium up, click an item twice, then load a save file from the relevant tab. You will have the cursor on the loaded file too. Click right and A right away. After a short delay, the map will open. Select the Sheikah sensor target to deactivate it, then go to event marker on the map. Click the marker and press L twice. You'll be able to move with the open adventure log button on screen. Go to either a goddess statue or the horn one in Hathno village and click the adventure log button and interact with the object at the same time. Now view a memory and choose to exit the dialogue. View a memory again and you should be able to walk around with the inventory on screen. You can go anywhere in Hyrule by looking at memories, opening the log etc. Just one small snag, you can't see anything while doing this. Link's movement is entirely hidden behind the menu screen, so you're literally running around blind. But you can still interact with stuff by pressing A, including shopkeepers, signs, goddess statues, treasure chests, etc. And the sky really is the limit here. You've just got to figure out a way to get there blind. Yet inventory storage and map storage aren't too exciting compared to what comes next. Namely, ARMS. No, not the Switch game. This ARM stands for Aqua Reverse Memory Storage. And it's set up by doing inventory storage. Closing the menu and jumping into water when out of stamina. By doing this, Link doesn't void out. Instead, he keeps swimming and can regain stamina by doing so. In fact, he now has infinite stamina and can use his abilities to their full potential. Running, climbing, gliding, all these can be done non-stop now, letting you go anywhere in Hyrule with ease. And insanity doesn't stop there. Oh no, the glitch also makes Link a non-invincible demigod too. Yep, when arms is active, he can't take damage either. Enemies become a complete joke. Guardians, Lionels, bosses, they're all useless when Link can tank their attacks at will, walking towards them like some sort of Superman. It also disables most cutscene triggers too. 
Do you want to go to Groody Town in normal clothing? That's possible. Explore the Lost Woods without voiding out. Go right ahead. Hell, you can even do things that take on a Ventide Island without losing your gear too. Since relevant event cannot trigger when the glitch is active. So, you can just stroll up the beach, nuke everything on the island with powerful weapons, and do the quest on Empty Island instead. Oh, and you can also climb on top of the Divine Beasts too. But there are a few things to keep in mind. First, if you speak to any NPCs, enter shrines, or open treasure chests, the game will soft lock. So don't do that while this glitch is active. Secondly, pausing and unpausing the game, using runes or switching items will also end the glitch. So, if your weapon breaks, you'll have to pick up a new one to keep fighting. Either way, since you can save where you like and keep any items you get with this glitch, go wild, experiment and see what happens and test out all the crazy things arms can do. Still, that's our guide to infantry storage, arms and all its other interesting side effects. If you found it useful, give it a like. Subscribe to our channel for more glitches and tutorials. Then leave your thoughts in the comments below or over on the Discord server today.